What's good, YouTube? Yes, we are back with another review of another great shoe. So, guys, if you're new to this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get each and every new video. And I plan on putting out some great videos and more often because I'm trying to get to that next level. I'm obviously over a thousand subscribers, but in order for me to be fully monetized, I need uh, a lot more watch hours than what I have been averaging. Um, they want you to average 4,000 watch hours over a 12 month period. So I need to get increase my average so I can get to the next level and and that's up to you guys and that's where you guys actually um, are very helpful to me because um, I have a lot of different videos that I've um, uploaded and released over the past three years and I wouldn't mind if you guys would probably uh, go back and watch some of those older videos as well. Alright guys, I think I have over 200 videos, I'm not sure, I can't remember, I know. <laughs> it's been a while since I checked, but I know it's over 200, but um, a lot of great content, a lot of great shoes. So today's video is going to be great, um, a continuation of the craft series, um, well, most people call the Inside Out, and Jordan Brand has been utilizing um, the Jordan 1 mids and lows to um, execute their new type of shoe, which they call the crafts. And in essence, the crafts are basically um, taking the original form of the Jordan 1 low in the mid and transforming it with uh, basically using like, an abundance of high quality like, uh, materials. And it gives it that edge or it gives it that you know that premium vibe or feel so like and for instance you know like they'll use like canvas um, leather nubuck suede all on the same shoe when they usually use about maybe a couple of different materials and don't forget the rubber and the foams you know what i mean so that's a lot of different materials that they're using on this shoe um, and what they've done is they changed it up just a little bit, um, which is honestly um, paying tribute to Virgil and his what he has done for you know fashion. May him rest in peace. And you know, with his off-white, and what he did was he. Um, would take 3% of a design. He had the 3% rule, which is if you change 3% of any original design, it'll give it a brand new spin or look, or, you know, um, upgrade to the, to the shoe or clothing or whatever it is. So, and that's what Jordan Brand is doing, and is they're using his methodology and his design and his artistry in these uh, shoes right here. They, they call it the crafts. A lot of people call it, you know, like an offshoot of the uh, off-whites. But um, really dope shoe today, guys. So this is my third pair of Jordan 1 Low Special Edition Craft Series um, shoe. And it's the latest in the craft series. It's called Tech Gray. I mean, a lot of people just call it Inside Out or just Craft which you'll see most times that's what they're going to call it. Even on the box it says Air Jordan 1 Low Special, oh, well, SE, and then it says Craft. So it's an official, it's an official name of the shoe. Inside Out is their name, so Craft is the actual, you know, shoe and, and uh, moniker for the shoe. So this particular one is going to be called Tech Gray. Um, as you can see, they use Tech Gray in this shoe, also a uh, light or wood brown, and um, sail white, and as you can see, off white or cream aged look midsole, which I think it looks amazing on this shoe right here. 
Cruz. So, and just to give you a recap, guys, I did pick up this shoe earlier this year, the Topaz version of the Crafts, the Jordan Mundo Crafts, which I really like this shoe, and I thought, like, wow, this is like um, similar to like, the, the Voodoo or the Zion Jordan 1 OGs or the Year of the Rabbits, which I thought well, those two shoes are amazing. So I thought this was like a great alternative to those shoes because it is kind of got that vibe and that similarity to them. Um, also, guys, like you haven't seen this shoe yet. I'm sure you have seen it maybe out and about, but this shoe actually released like seven months ago and I was able to pick it up um, actually like three weeks ago before all that all that stuff happened. If you've seen my latest videos, you know that I had experienced some damage with an air conditioning unit in the room that I stored my shoes and it set me back as far as like YouTube and just time and effort so and I had to put a lot of time and effort to take care of that situation but um, during that time before that happened I had picked up this particular shoe the Jordan 1 Craft Low Special Edition and these are called just black I guess I think they call them just um, basically black which as you can see it's like all darker black colors um, just like different shades of black <laughs> Which I think this this shoe is dope. Like I thought this was my favorite shoe of the bunch because I enjoy like black shoes. And I just think this one is just so well done, guys. I mean, you will be getting this video as well. Even though this shoe is like seven months old, I was able to pick up this pair from Jimmy Jabs. The only one they had and was my size, so it was Destiny. And I really wanted that shoe, and it's actually reselling for a decent amount. Um, actually, some of the crafts are doing really well in the uh, secondary markets. Um, so, let's take a look at the Jordan 1 Craft, or the Jordan 1 Low Special Edition uh, Craft, and this is in the tech gray colorway. So, I'm going to start off with the toe box, guys. Guys, look at this um, leather material on this toe box. It's actually really, really good. Let's look at this one actually, so you can get a good view of what I'm talking about. Look at the tumbleness and like just the smoothness and just the buttery look. And the other uh, shoes um, didn't have that toe box and leather. It's actually like nylon and suede. So I thought that was a great touch for this shoe right here because you know that toe box is like a big part of the design and having that in that white um, leather just makes it look so clean it gives it like a predominantly like clean look guys um the tongue itself is like a like i think it's more or less like nylon material and then you have like new bone you have more leather right here leather right here and that uh, tech gray and that light ore wood which I think it complements one another so well. The swoosh itself, um, this is suede and it's that light ore wood and as you can see like the stitching is on the outside to give it like an inside out look or like a handcrafted uh, look and like when I was explaining the craft series um, that's another thing. They want you to have um, like the the reaction to the shoe is like hey man this they spent some time on this shoe and it was like handcrafted with some high quality materials and some time and effort in the back you got the um tech gray with the wings logo in all white um kind of like a 3d effect um like i said uh, the aged uh, midsole all white bottoms um, that sail around the um, swoosh itself. Um, this this shoe is dope, man. This might be my favorite of the bunch, but I can't count the blackout as being my favorite. But this one is definitely clean. This one's amazing. And then you have two more pairs out. I think there is like a white pair and a obsidian pair which 
I don't own those. Um, there are, I think, the three that I got are the best of the three. I, I don't know if I'm going to get any more of these crafts. Because I feel like I got the best of the bunch. Um, now, if they do come up with like UNC uh, blue colorway, I'm definitely probably going to grab that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this shoe and this video. The Jordan 1 World Crafts and this series. I hope you're enjoying the series. Now, the craft series is actually going to continue on with the Jordan 5 and the Jordan 6. It was um, recently um, released in the beginning of the year for the Jordan 4. So the Jordan 4 was um, one of the latest additions to the crafts. They also have a Jordan 6 and a Jordan 5 coming up this year. So be on the lookout for that, guys. If you are a fan of the craft series, those two shoes should be really good. Alright guys, I also want to show you one last shoe before I go. Um, in the midst of all that chaos, I was actually able to find some of my older shoes that I like and I'm going to be showing you periodically in videos. So this is the Jordan 1 Low University Gold in black. Man, these things are just so good, man. And the, the, actually, the leather quality on this is really nice, man. Look at, look at that leather quality on this, guys. Look at, look at that. Look at that um, like pebbled uh, swoosh right there. Can you see that the light? I'm not sure. But I love this shoe right here. I'm glad I did grab that. The topaz and the tech gray Jordan 1 Crafts. So, guys, go ahead and subscribe. Like the videos, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the shoe and the craft series. And you will be getting a full detailed review on that Jordan 1 Craft um, all black shoe. Alright guys, go ahead and subscribe like I said. Keep watching. Let's get that watch time up. YouTube, you know I love y'all. I am out. Thank you so much.